Hi everyone and welcome to uh, this Special Life Creation Society Facebook Live with me, Aspen Hogan. Reading and expanding from Asking is Given. We are finished now with reading from Asking is Given, but we are going to expand it out from all of this process. It's just summoning all of this and going through every process just a little bit from one of them and just to 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 feel the feelings of it you know i would say for myself what a wonderful experience it has been for me personally to go through this process and i have been then exercising this uh, vibration every day you know doing those processes and it's been a wonderful wonderful experience for myself i would say and I, I hope also for you, if you have been practicing some of those processes, that you have a wonderful experience. Because it's so true, when you are changing the vibration and feeling around a subject uh, that you desire for, and you feel better in that subject, that will improve and you will have a different experience, you know. It's only, it's only two things, aspects from the, from the law of attraction. When there's something you, you desire for, it's either you allow that energy to come in you allow that feeling and that experience to come in or you disallow it and how do you know you all you always know because how it's the way how you feel because words don't teach you know if you say i'm desire for for going to to another country for i want to travel and you feel discord inside of you you don't feel lined up with the energy you feel like overwhelmment or frustration or anything like that then not it's not matching up with your desire because when you have a desire, you feel good. When there is something matching up your desire, you, it's it's you letting it in, and then you get you get the evidence of it, and you get um, the guidance for moving toward it. So it's really wonderful to to be aware of that. You know the way you feel, care about the way I feel, and that you can feel good about anything. You know also to know that it's not conditional based. You can feel unconditionally good no matter what. It's a practice vibration. It's a practice vibration to feeling good and better and better. So, and also I would say, you know, be easy about it. There is no rush. Be easy with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle. You know, more easy you are with who you really are with all of this. The more easy it will get to you. You know, easier it gets, is better it feels, and better it feels, better it gets. And there is the momentum. So there is a process in everything. And uh, you know, when you when you have this um, experience with these processes and things are starting to changing in your point of attraction, you, you will be eager for doing more. You will feel the inspiration to doing more. Now, it's not the motivation. And remember, there is two th the motivation and inspiration. It's a two different vibration. Motivation is motivated for do something because uh, you have to prove yourself or you have to do something for, for, uh, for um, yeah, for prove yourself, you know showing others people or whatever you know it's something you motivating it's an it's a motivation from outside that you do something for the outside but inspiration it's coming from inside inspiration it's like a, i get this feeling you know i love to moving in that, that direction i feel so good and i feel it's so good unconditionally you know i just love to go in that places you see there is no motivate not nothing you need to have from that it's just i've got a gut feeling and good feeling you get right in the moment it's just like i love to move in this direction yes oh beautiful id coming my way oh beautiful impulses now follow your bliss and what will happen when you're feeling good and you're lining up with who you really are and then taking action it always will give you more evidence of the same what your vibrational feel from within when you feel good first and then taking action it always will lead up to more feel good experience from the first place you know it's always to line up with your desire first line up with the energy of what you want and then take action so it's so wonderful all of this you know to to know and to have this um, knowledge and to know that really you know the way i feel is important you know it's it's um, it's important for me to care in the way i feel because if i don't feel good i have nothing to offer other people you know i have feeling this allowance of the energy and i and i feel and I don't feel so good. I don't have so much to offer outside, you know, to other people or anyone or to myself. But when I line up with the energy of who I am, it's, it's all good. But also to be easy when you're not feeling good, you know, to negative emotion is not bad. Negative emotion is a good thing. You know, immediately when you are acknowledged that you're having a negative emotion and you say, what feels 
a little bit better, you are enlightening. You are lighting up the energy of who you are. Then you know that, okay, this doesn't feel so good. Are you honest? I feel like this or this. I feel anger in this situation. Okay. No, it's okay. This is the emotion I have right now in this moment. What feels a little bit better? And immediately when you're having a little bit better feeling about that situation and you're improving and the feelings are improved, then you are lighting up the energy of it. And then you have more awareness of that. You know, you everything can always change whatever situation and more you have those experiences also with we say negative situation but the more you clear cleaning up the vibration around it or feeling more better in this situation a better and now not being so attached by it more not being so dis disturbed by it or moving in the in a feeling bad immediately when you have this experience then you will know your power the power of your energy the, that you can feel good no matter what and you can line up with the energy of who you really are no matter what situation that will be called as a step five process you know the step one ask you have the contrast things are changing things are happening in your life and you having a strong warning of something from that contrast you know the inner being say okay you're having a contrast here we have what you want from this experience so you ask you ask for an improvement you ask for an, for something different than that you know and step two, the universe yielding and, and change, shifting and changing for, for you, forgive you for what you ask for. What the step three is coming into the receiving moment of what you've been asking for, feeling good, feeling better, slightly feeling good and feeling a little bit better. And, and be in the receiving of that what you asked for, meaning that you're feeling good for what you've been asked for. The step four, be practicing this over and over again, feeling good for, for, for who you are and, and feeling better. And this practice you have so much in those processes, segment intending, pre-paving, you have uh, appreciation, meditation, yeah, prosperity game. There's so many things. We will go through this now uh, very soon as well. And uh, it's so wonderful, you know, and in, there is always an improvement in the way you feel, always. And it's such a, no, such a wonderful thing to know that there is always an improvement in my feelings. I always feel a little bit better. It's, and it's everything is in motion forward so step four you are practicing feeling good over and over and over again and now on the step five now well no matter what experience you have a contrast is something you don't want you then you don't get obscured by it you just immediately know that the, the warning is of you immediately know that the the uh, expansion of that the choices of you have in the moment of that uh, contrast and that the variety and the differences is, is good for you and it's give you more expansion from inner being and for you to experience uh, something different uh, something better than this or say something better but you you feel immediately you have no misalignment with that experience you just like know that this will be an expansion for you this will be a, this is a good thing and then you move on and it's like it's it's like living in the moment of it with the wholeness of who you really are in that experience you you are not dis disturbed by what's going on outside of yourself you're feeling your alignment you're tuned in tapped in and turn on and you are moving in that direction naturally more and more and more and more and for sure there will be times when we are out of it but we will not be obscure with that they well we will know oh i'm a little bit out of it now you will be more aware and you will catch it more earlier as well and then you will just oh, like nothing have happened and you're just like moving in the direction of what feels a little better and you will easily and easier moving from whatever was feeling you have to feeling good and better and better the more you practice this so it's a wonderful thing it's a wonderful thing to uh to practice because you know now you don't practice something outside you don't practice to to writing or you don't practice anything like outside experience uh, running or anything you practice your vibration you practice to learning to 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 feel good no matter what you know to practice to to feel alignment with everything and every subject that's important to you if you practice that energy you know you practice to, to to put your attention on those things that feels good to you and have less attention to those things that doesn't feel good to you you practice uh, the way you want it to be do you, you practice the your desire you practice the, the all of that you want to be you and have more and more and you feel good as you as you are going through these processes yeah 
So good. So asking it is given. And here we are, expanding even more. So this is the book, uh, again, showing you that. Ask and it is given. Learning to Manifest Your Desires by Esther and Jerry Hicks. What a wonderful book. What a wonderful process. What an amazing journey it has been. Probably I will read it more often, you know. You can you can also when you when you're reading through these processes, you can also just pick one process process one day. Because every process is good for, for something, you know. If you're feeling appreciation and feeling good, there is a process for that. If you're feeling powerlessness, there is a process for that. There is a process in every emotion you have to feeling good and a little bit better and a little bit better. So there's always the improvements in the feelings. And it's a good to, to remind ourselves to that. We never stuck. We never, nothing is, everything is in changing and evolving. Everything is in, in movements all the time. Everything is in expansion. And um, to really know that our emotion feels different from time to time and to let that be, you know, can I let that be? Can I let myself to be in the feel good space of it, no matter what? Can I? practice my vibration to feel feeling good and, and better and better slightly i know it's not a jump from a to b i know there is not to to getting fastest to the way of there is no competition there's no comparing with others with my alignment it's to slightly for myself it's only you and your own your own world because i know i'm thinking and feeling and attracting for me not for other people and it's the same for you too you thinking and feeling and attracting for you. What you have in your life is it's yours. It's your experiences. It's you thinking and feeling about those things that you attract, that you have in your life. And it's so nice to know. It feels good. It feels good to know that that uh, no one else, no one else does anything, does not do anything against us. It's only ourself. It's how we are lining up with the energy of what we decipher. It's our focus. It's our choosing. What we are choosing and focusing in and stay tuned in so and uh, so good we are so low for and appreciate from who we really are when we're getting into the alignment we already then we already know we we feel that feelings that there's like oh never looks back never the present never looks back the, the newness of this now here and now never looks back it's always available and open. And when you're getting into the energy of that, you feel so much love inside of yourself. You just feel the vibration and the alignment and just like, oh, how good life is. And that can be practiced and be a natural state of being most of the time. And it is, and we say that is the purpose for being on planet Earth. That is our intention to be here, to be in that space and then taking action and do whatever what we want to do because when we are feeling that energy, when we're feeling inspired, when we're feeling so good, and we never get tired. We just want it more. Just feeling for, for an eager for more, but in an easy way, in a feel-good way, in a calm and relaxed way, in a energized way, in all of this feel-good feelings way. You see. So so good. So whenever you feel a feeling you don't prefer acknowledge it don't push against it yeah that's so good Jen and then gently calibrate shift to better feeling yes because no feeling is bad or good it's just like oh it's a feeling you can always slightly feel a little bit better and then gently and calibrate to what feels a little better so good Jen so with the process one, not just going easily through this, the rampage of appreciation, sitting down, taking your time. You can do it in the morning after you're drinking coffee or eating food and having a blue pen, a white paper or whatever color feels best to you, sitting down and just write. I appreciate this. I appreciate this. I appreciate my family. I appreciate here is the thing this is a very nice building you know it is like you said it's a great that they keep it so clean i like how friendly that postal worker is i appreciate the way that the mother is interacting with her child that's a good looking jacket my day is really going well 
I appreciate that. While driving to work, you may think, I love my car. This new freeway is wonderful. Even though it's raining, I'm making a very good time. I love how reliable my vehicle is. I'm grateful for my job. This is a very new, nice building. This is new freeway is wonderful. You know, and you be more specific. This is this new freeway is wonderful. There are no traffic lights to slow me down. I can travel so much faster than before. This drive offers such a beautiful view. When we can look around, you know, what what are you appreciating? I appreciate my home, my apartment. It's so clean and fresh. I love how where it is. It's a beautiful view where where I'm living here. I appreciate um, that that I have um, that it's it's, it's isn't enough space for me here. It's good energy inside here. I appreciate that I have my time for myself here to to focus in whatever I want to focus in. I appreciate the, the family I have here. I appreciate the friends around here. I'll appreciate the shop is very close. No, that's for me. You know, so coming into the appreciation is a wonderful thing. It's practicing. The appreciation is, is amazing. And you can end appreciation is the state of of our alignments you know when we appreciate we feel really who we really are so appreciation wonderful thing appreciation just appreciate for appreciate starting with practice the vibration of appreciation you do that for 30 days that, that can change your whole world you can and you will see the evidence of more appreciation you you will sense more the appreciation for all that is more and more just sitting down writing Putting your focus on appreciation. What do I appreciate? What do I appreciate in my life? And just start with writing something and you will get along the way. You know, as more as you appreciate, as more you you will feel and you will line up more and more with that. Practice the vibration of appreciation. So wonderful, Jen. Yes, appreciation allows whatever you are focused on to become more. Yeah, you feel more of that. It's a practice. It's just like a muscle. You practice it more and more you feel it more and more you and en you enjoy it more and more you feel the energy of it more and more and you will and you feel that all oh, the experience they the experience of the appreciation will be more and more appreciation wonderful thing amazing thing what else the magical creation box yeah wonderful thing putting things on a, on, a, on a box pictures that you like uh, where you want to travel this is the magical this is the process to the magical process the magical creation box putting pictures that you like putting in the box and sometimes you just pick it up uh, looking in the box and just say, oh that's a picture of this what i want but having in the box is a wonderful thing and, and sometimes just looking at those things people where you want to travel what food you want to eat or whatever what experience you want to have you have that in that box the creation box beautiful pictures the creative uh, process t the creative the creative workshop the process three wonderful thing i want to uh here is an example i want to return to my body weight i want to return to my ideal body weight because i feel best when i'm at the weight because i'm able to wear some of my favorite clothes because it feel because it will be fun to shop for a new wardrobe I want some I want to find some wonderful new clothes because new clothes always make me feel good because I like looking good because I like people responding to me in a positive way because they are always giving me a fresh outlook. I want to feel strong and fit because I love the feeling of stamina because I love having the energy to do all of the things I want to do because it feels because it just feels good to feel good. You know that's the creation the creative workshop writing it on the paper and and then also putting it away, you know, take it once a while, one for one, you know, you, every one, every month, for example, and just look at it. And and when you're putting out the because, why do you want what you want, what, what you want, and you feel the because of it, then you feel it either stronger in your emotion. You feel the energy of it. This is what I want. This is because what I want. It. You know, I, I love feeling that way. You know, I love feeling fit and strong because it feels good to just feeling good. You know you have that you you know why you want what you what you want you know and when you feel the energy of it it's very easy to come to the place of feeling that energy feeling good 
And then also, then because you're feeling good about what you're desiring, then you will have an experience of it. There is only resistance that holds you back from a desire that not gives you what you want. When you don't resist what you desire, but allowing your desires to be, to feel good when you're thinking about what you're thinking about and feeling about it, then it can be an experience for you. And it can come quickly. It's all about the vibration. How much feeling do you feel about what you're desiring as well? But it's no rush or push. But when you practice in vibration, it's like you practice a muscle. When you feel it more and more and more, better you feel in that what you're desiring, and more you feel eager and inspiring in the energy of it, faster it will come into your experience. So it's all about the vibration, how much vibration and feeling you have in that desire. But also to know, oh, I don't have to push me against, I don't have to push me up there. It's not a big pushing. You feel it. You feel that when the energy comes through and it's lighting up and you feel the vibration, you feel excited, it comes natural, easy, gentle, general. So, so good. So the creative workshop, wonderful process from asking the skilling. The process for the virtual reality to picture in your mind. You can be in any places on earth. You can you can picture yourself in, in a movie or something. You can be on the beach and you picture yourself and you can feel this, the sand on, on your feet and you can hear the birds as they are flying there and they give and they're having the sounds of and giving the sounds and, and you can hear the 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 water you know you can feel the the warmness in your skin you can smell the beautiful fresh sand if, or where you are on close to the ocean this from the water and you can feel the fresh freshness in there you know you can imagine yourself in a picture in a movie that feels so good and that movie you can always come into you can you can picture it when when you feel as most good when you feel really good and you it's like daydream you can just sit back and, and imagine it. imagine the world, most wonderful place and picture it in your in in your energy picture it in your alignment and then letting it play more things to add into there you can add in anything that is your free place to to have whatever what you want to have in it. best food best experience whatever in that move in that picture so wonderful process four process five the prosperity game what a wonderful game i would say that's that's one of my favorite game you have one thousand dollar one day two thousand dollar next day three thousand dollars the third day and you're writing down what do you want to use this money on you're playing mentally you know what you and starting to write down checking out on the internet you know i've been checking out oh i will pay all of my bills down with this money oh i will do this with this money oh i will do that with that money and then you're just playing it out. Oh, now when you and you and it's like I feel very excited now. I said, Oh, tomorrow I have two thousand dollars. Oh, and when I've been using that, oh now next day I have three thousand dollars. And it's building up the vibration of feeling good about money, feeling good about the prosperity, that you can feel prosperous, that you can feel good in money. You're feeling good about money. Immediately when you're feeling good about money and not worry about money, you're feeling the prosperity, when you're feeling the vibration of prosperity your point of attraction change and things and circumstances situation change for you to have that experience so for me now i having i could tell a story about that but i would pretty pretty sure tell it another time but it's a change for me you know uh, about that game just now for playing it for two three weeks it's a wonderful experience so you can line up the energy with whatever you want whatever you choose with health wealth and happiness when you're feeling the energy of what you're desiring and lining up with it and have no worrying about nothing and then moving toward your desire and feeling good then you must have an it's more and more an experience of it so so wonderful process six the process of meditation what a wonderful thing meditating Meditating to quiet our mind, lessen the resistance, coming into a place of feeling our energy, feeling our alignment. When we lessen the resistance, quieting our mind and just focus on our breathing, then the energy arises from within. Doing that for 10-15 minutes every morning before you do start your day with doing something. 
it can have given a tremendous beautiful experience the start of a day and the rest of the day it's like that's some when people say you start on the right foot but it's only about coming into the alignment with you who you are feeling so good and then moving in the direction in whatever what you do quiet your mind just breathing meditating nothing to do nothing meditation is like it's only to focus on one thing just breathing why no thoughts about anything no daydreaming no imagination just focus on the breathing and having a clean mind nothing there just like focus on the breathing and as you more and more lessing uh, the mind is more quiet and not so active there will be less resistant to what is and the energy will arise more and more 50 minutes every day every morning wonderful thing practice that for one year practice that for as long as it feels good you will see the improvements in the way you feel about anything when you do that process every morning and you will feel through the day how much effective effectiveness it has for your whole energy just to meditate for 50 minutes every day just focus on the breathing 50 minutes every day that's what abraham did that's what esther did uh, for nine months and then abraham came through her and um, yeah living happily ever after <laughs> so the power the process of meditation wonderful what else what else evaluating dreams so it's just how do you feel in your emotion when you wake up in the morning but also to know that it's all about the feelings you know i would say just go with uh, just tune into the vibration of who you are whatever dream you have whatever what you are dreaming that knowing that the dreams are not something that is real that will happen but it's just an emotion feeling you have it through your, your night it can tell you something important because then you're not active in it you don't have any thought about what it is or not it just give you on a feeling of of what you're most attracting into your life so if you feel really good and you have many good feel good dreams then you well know that you are on the way of attracting more you feel uh, you feel appreciation you feel all these feel good feelings and they will be more act more into your life you know that's your point of attraction you see that is the way you feel more most of the time maybe but dreams and uh, dreams are just dreams you know they are not telling and they, there is just you know if you're having a bad dream you don't have to to be obscure by that just like okay i this is what i feel now what feels a little better and you move so we don't have to be stuck in in the dreams we have but we just be easy about it be gentle be general so process eight the book of positive aspects what a wonderful process writing things down from what you are positive aspects in life positive aspects about family positive aspects about friends What do I like about you? You know, what do I like about Besta? I like Besta uh, so much because I mean, there is so much beautiful people come together and share from who they really are, feeling good, enjoying their life as much as, much as they can do. Uh, they just share openly, everyone listening, no one judging anyone, everyone just like purely listening, expanding and feel good now. What I love about Best of it's we are always always forward focused and very forward focused in the moment now and forward, not looking so much back, but just acknowledge this moment more and feeling better and better and moving forward. And when there is something that doesn't feel good, we take it in right in the moment of, of it and then we shift it. So wonderful. That's what I love. There are so many positive aspects. What is best as positive aspect? We are meeting each other all over the world. We have events. We have uh, calls. We calling in every day. We can speak with each other. There's Facebook Live, so like this. There's so many beautiful positive aspects with Besta. So I've been doing this process. Wonderful. And you can do it with family, you know, with friends. What do you like about with your mom? What do you like about your fa father? what do you love about your mom what do you love about your father what is their positive aspect what is your mom's positive aspects what is your dad's positive aspect you're writing it down and you feel the energy of it it's so good and you're having a, a totally different thought about them and feeling about it when you ne next time meet them you know, i've been doing that process too and i feel so different also about my mom and my dad and i've been doing this process it's been wonderful 
So, so wonderful. What else? Process nine, scripting. We, you know, it's so wonderful. I use this you know, a lot, you know, and I just like, I remember how much fun it was because telling stories, telling stories to, to kids. I remember I used to do it with my brothers, telling stories, but scripting in a way that feels good, you know, scripting like you are in a, in a story, like a novel, you know, and there it is, you know, I, I, I you, you can you can you can do it in so many ways how it's a good example it's uh, script the plot you like to live script the plot you like to live you know so you can have fun with it i can say like yeah for myself just how if i was playing these out um how can i say it i was like ah oh, espen he's lived in his, in his dream how and, and he looked out of the window and there was sunny and, and there was sunset and it felt so good for him and then suddenly he got an impulse to travel to some to to this place and he just right away packed the baggage the luggage and 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 go and off you go he went to the Tromsø airport and then he take the flight first to the to Oslo and then he moved into this country and there was a new country he never heard about that before you know you can play it out so many in so many ways and when he get there he get out of the air plane and, and he he felt the freshness of the energy, the freshness of the air. And he felt so ex excited about his experience and for this next thing and the next thing. And as he was looking around, he see the beautiful ocean and, and, and people who smiling and laughing. And he felt like, you know, this is this will be a good experience. This will be great and more. You know, and you can play it out, scripting like you are in the story, scripting like a novel, scripting in, in a way of telling it in the way, in so many funny ways. It's a very funny thing to do, a process of scripting. So, yeah, I'm just, I was playing out that with, but there's so many ways, you know, you can check out scripting, scripting a good feel, good story. You can check it on the internet or you can, yeah, you can have so much fun with it, with family, with friends, telling a fun story, feel good story, an imagination story, feel good story. Process 10, the place map process. What is that? Do I remember? Yeah. So let's move on. Uh, it's good. I don't remember that. But I will check it out later then. So cool. Process 11, uh, segment intending. What a wonderful thing. Segment intending, you're feeling the feelings before you, before it happened. What do I want to feel in this experience? I mean, this is something I love, you know, every day doing. Segment intending before a class, segment intending, intending before I do a Facebook Live. What do I want to feel before in Facebook Live? Uh, this, like now when I'm speaking to you guys, you know. So, I would say an example of running, you know, I love feeling energized. I love feeling forward focused. I love feeling flow in the now. Now, I love feeling in the moment, I love being in the moment. Segment ending, wonderful process. And then when I when I run, I feel the energy of what I segment ending. I line up with the energy. I love the feeling of feeling energized. I love the feeling. I love feeling the view. I love feeling my senses as I'm running. I love feeling focused in the now. You know, I love feeling forward focus, you know, just writing easy general general things. I love feeling, um, I love feeling my inner body and my breathing. I love feeling, I love feeling focused in where I'm, where I am going, you know, and you segment tending for that, you know, I segment tending for that and feel that energy. And then when I run, I feel it even more. That's what I experienced for myself. Segment tending, such a wonderful thing. To do segment ten before you experience what you experience, and you segment ten is powerful because it's the way you want to feel from every experience you segment and ten for. And when you feel the feeling you want to experience in that segment, in that in that experience, so powerful, so wonderful. Wouldn't it be nice if game process twelve. Wouldn't it be nice if um, I can just let everything go. If I wouldn't be nice if I just can let everything be. Wouldn't it be nice if I can just let the energy that's in me, the beautiful pure love source energy, to be more and more. I let me to just 
observe from that space more and more, to sense from the energy of who I really am more and more. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if I could just be easy and gentle and generous about all of this and feel the joy and, and appreciation for all, for all of who I am and for everyone and for everything that surrounds me? Wouldn't it be that? Wouldn't it be nice? You know, wouldn't it be nice game is a wonderful game because it have no resistance to it. You know, like maybe, like, wouldn't it be nice? It's just like playing with the energy. No, like, I must have it or that. But it's like, wouldn't it be nice? You can feel the difference in the energy. It's a playful, feel good energy. Wonderful thing to practice. Which thoughts feels better? If you feel some feelings that doesn't feel good and you having, you want to improve your feeling. I've been doing this process for myself as well. Wonderful experience. Like, uh, I always say, well, how can you say it? Yeah, here it is. I can just give an example and then I will end this. So we are on the process 13. I will do the rest tomorrow through all of this. Just go easy, easily through them, you know, this uh, summoning, summoning all of this. So, but the which thought is better, you know, example, I will write, I will read it here. So this process works best if you can sit for a few minutes and write your thoughts on paper in time when you have played the game sufficiently. You will find success with it just by rolling the thoughts across your mind. But writing them down onto paper causes a much more powerful point of focus, which makes it easier for you to feel the direction of your chosen thought. To begin, first, write a brief statement of how you feel about the subject right now. You could describe what has happened, but what is most important is that you describe how you feel. Next. Write another statement that amplifies exactly how you feel. This helps you more easily recognize any improvement as you move through the process. For example, you have just had an argument with your daughter because you, she makes no effort to help around the houses. The house. She does not even take care of her personal things and her own room is terrible mess. She seems to hold no regard for the effort you are making to maintain an orderly environment. Not only does she not try to help, but it seems that she deliberately tries to hinder you. So you write, she, or write your daughter's name, is deliberately trying to make me my life difficult. She doesn't care about me at all. She doesn't even come close to doing her share of her work, of the work. Once you have made a few statements that indicate how you really feel right now, make this statement to yourself. I'm going to reach for some thoughts about this subject that feel a little better. Now, once you have written each thought, evaluate whether it feels better, the same or worse than when you are initially began. So you're right. She never listened to me. Same. I want her to be more responsible. Same. I shouldn't have picked up after her. Same. I should have taught her better. Worse. I wish her father would support me more. Worse. A clean house is important. A clean house is important to me. Slightly better. I know she has a lot on her mind. Better. I remember what it's like to be a teenager. Better. I remember when she was a sweet little girl. Better. I wish she were still that sweet little girl. Worse. I don't know what to do about this. Worse. Well, I don't have to figure it all out today better there are so many things about her that i adore better i know there is more to life than a clean house better it should be okay that i want a clean house worse it's all right that i want my house to be clean better it's fine that she doesn't care about that now better so remember there are no right and wrong answers here and no one else can really know which of your thoughts brings better or worse feelings to you the value of this process is that you become aware of how you thoughts feel and you will become more adept, adept at choosing better feeling thoughts. So, yeah, that's it for today. So we will go through the rest for tomorrow. But remember, there is always improvements in feelings. You can always feel good about any subject. 
we don't have to regurgitate and having the same experience over and over and over and over again about the same person with saying the same words with having the same in everyone and the same 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 you know the point of the new point of attraction is when we starting to feel different about every subject and feeling better and better in in all areas in our life and practice our reservation on feeling lining up with who we really are first and then taking action then the whole new point of attraction the whole world how we are perceiving the world and look at outside of the world when we feeling our alignment with who we really are it's quite different of how we, we've been living the world before we're not here for regurgitating we're not here for experience things over now and over again we're here for the newness and refreshment that it is now and to feel the expansion of who we really are in the now and everything we desire for and be doing have anything and everything we want to be doing have is to lining up with who we really are to be in the present now and to practice it every day and to and when we are feeling that more and more we will be eager and we will be inspiring inspired and we will be more deliberate about it more and more because it feels so good because it feels so good it just feels so good and it's natural for us we don't have to hold the cork under the water we don't have to resist just let the cork flow and the expansion is right here right now letting this moment to be letting it flow then it will be experienced more and more so love you guys so so much hope you're having a wonderful wonderful beautiful day and see you tomorrow